Well, it's this time again, the tier list video that people kept asking for. Before we start, I would like to explain the point of these builds that I have made so far, is to provide solid builds that are able to clear any events in the open world, solo or with few friends. That's why I showcased soloing legendary bounty bosses in the previous videos, since legendary bounty bosses are considered one of the hardest events in the open world. So if you are able to face tanks and kill them in a short time, once you learn and understand the peak performance of the build, any other events in the open world will be a piece of cake. So if you want to learn more, you can check the pinned messages in the individual class channels. You will find videos, builds, guides, and logs. I don't know why people ask for logs for open world build, but if you are into that shit, it's there. With that being said, let's start. I will tier list the builds based on their solid BS, self-sustain, and how easy to play them. So let's start with Necromancer. Harbinger is currently the Necro spec that deals the highest damage compared to its other specs, but in return, Harbinger heavily depends on its outgoing condition damage to convert it to healing, which forces you to quickly build up damage faster to get the passive healing. The negative part about Harbinger, its shroud doesn't count as a second health bar, and to maximize your damage, you must always stay in melee range while in shroud to deal more damage. So Harbinger has high DPS and decent sustain, but not quite comfy to play. So Harbinger is A tier. Scourge is the easiest necro spec to play and has a lot of sustaining skills that can remove a lot of conditions and generate barriers. And with Celestial Gear, it will increase the amount of barriers. The rotation is very simple, so even though its DPS is lower, Compared to Harbinger, since it's really comfy to use, it will be easy to learn and deal damage with this pick. The negative part about Scourge, it requires you to use many skills as fast as possible, including all 5 F skills to deal damage and sustain as well. So Scourge has decent DPS, high sustain, and semi comfy to play. So Scourge is S tier. Reaper is a straightforward necro spec. Its DPS rotation is clear and easy to learn, and it has a slightly better DPS than Scourge, but less DPS than Harbinger. Also better sustain than Harbinger, but less sustain than Scourge. But what makes Reaper unique is the ability to burst a lot of AoE conditions in a few seconds, which makes it the best necro spec to kill a group of mobs or tough mobs faster. So Reaper has decent DPS, decent sustain, and it's easy to play. So Reaper is A tier. Next is Warrior. Berserker is the easiest Warrior spec to play. It has decent DPS, decent sustain, good defensive passive traits, and it's easy to learn. It uses Longbow to land AoE Burning to cleave mobs and is able to keep stability uptime to avoid being interrupted while dealing damage. Only need to use skills of cooldown while in Berserker mode to increase the duration of Berserker mode. So if you are a warrior who wants to turn your brain off and burn things to ashes, then Berserker is the perfect choice for you. The only negative thing about Berserker, it's unforgiving for mistakes. So if you miss a burst skill or hitbot, you will lose your passive defensive trait and obviously lose damage. So Berserker has decent DPS, decent sustain, but not forgiving for mistakes. So Berserker is B tier. Spellbreaker is the only warrior spec that uses a hammer to deal damage, break any defense bar easily, and generate DPS buffs after using a CC skill. The sad part is that Spellbreaker has average DPS compared to other specs, and semi-decent sustain, also not easy to play, since Spellbreaker requires you to time using your full counter skill to maximize the DPS and self-healing. So Spellbreaker has average DPS, semi-decent sustain, and semi-comfy to play. So Spellbreaker is C tier. Bladeswan is the best warrior spec that can one-shot group of mobs or tough mobs with one single attack. Bladeswan has the highest damage compared to its other warrior specs. It's able to keep stability always uptime, and a lot of Aegis skills to block any incoming attack, and really high sustain. The only negative part about Bladeswan, it's tricky to learn, and it will take time to get used to its playstyle. Also unforgiving for mistakes, like missing your Dragon Slash. 
but once you get used to it, you will be able to clear any events in a short time. So Blitz 1 has high DPS and high sustain, but not easy to learn. So Blitz 1 is S tier, because its burst DPS is really high. Next is Mesmer. Mirage is the easiest and simplest spec to play. Mirage has an amazing DPS while in range, but also its attacks are able to pierce and bounce to multiple targets and CC at the same time. The source of Mirage DPS, bones and sustain by only spamming dodges. That's what makes it pretty simple and easy to learn. So Mirage has high DPS, decent sustain and very comfy to play. So Mirage is legendary tier. Virtuoso is one of the specs that I didn't make a video for because of its low performance, but with so to release, Virtuoso is able to use shield to block incoming damage and a defender relic to heal itself after blocking, combined with an inspiration deadline. The negative part about it, it's unforgiving for mistakes, like missing your block timing, so you have to make sure to block attacks to sustain yourself. Its DPS is kinda low, especially when you compare it to Mirage. So Virtuoso has average DPS, decent sustain, but pretty unforgiving for mistakes. So Virtuoso is C tier. Chronomancer has the same negative parts, just like Virtuoso. But the sad part is that Chronomancer can't even deal an average damage, unlike Virtuoso. So Chronomancer is underperforming tier. Next is Thief. Spectre is the easiest Thief spec to play. It can deal decent DPS while staying in range. It has second health bar just like a necromancer to deal more damage and a wee cleave. Or use it as a shield to absorb incoming attacks. And with Soto expansion, Spectre can use Chronomancer Relic to have quickness uptime to burst mobs faster. So Spectre has decent DPS, decent sustain, and it's easy to play. So Spectre is S tier. Daredevil. Unfortunately, this thief spec can't generate boons, which results in low DPS output and also has no passive healing. The only thing Daredevil has is extra endurance to dodge more, but that's not enough to keep it alive, especially when you miss your dodge timing. So Daredevil has low DPS, low sustain, and unforgiving for mistakes. So Daredevil is underperforming tier. Deadeye is the strongest thief spec. It has amazing DPS output and high self-sustain at the same time, while dealing damage. The spec rotation is pretty simple to understand which makes it a good spec for those who like to fight in melee range and not worry about incoming damage, since Dead Eye always keep dodging while dealing damage by spamming one skill. Finally, it can use Shortbow to kill a group of mobs and spam skill 4 to break Defiance Bar faster. So Dead Eye has high DPS, high sustain and comfy to play, so Dead Eye is legendary tier. Next is Ranger. All Ranger specs have almost the same damage output after the latest balance patch, Druid has high DPS and is able to drop more AoE to kill a group of mobs faster and to cleanse conditions. Druid can use its celestial avatar to heal itself and to heal its pets to keep them alive to tank bosses or tough mobs. The negative part about Druid, compared to its other specs, it has the lowest self passive healing. It can't keep protection uptime to reduce incoming damage, so it's required to stop dealing damage to regen itself. So Druid has high DPS decent sustain, and semi-comfy to play, so Druid is A tier. Soul Beast is the easiest ranger spec to play, it's able to deal high damage and sustain itself at the same time, also able to keep boons up time. Soul Beast can swap its merged pets to deal damage or to sustain itself. The only negative part about Soul Beast, it only has skills 4 and 5 on short bow to break defiance bar, unlike its other ranger specs. So Soul Beast has high DPS, good sustain, and it's comfy to play, but short on CC. So Soul Beast is S tier. Untamed is the most complicated ranger spec, or even among other specs to play. It's able to deal high damage and has a really high sustain when using ambush attacks. That makes it the tankiest ranger spec to play, but it's unforgiving for mistakes. So Untamed has high DPS and high sustain, but it's very complicated. So Untamed is B tier. Next is Elementalist. Catalyst is the strongest Ellie spec. It has high DPS, high sustain, but it's not easy to master, since Catalyst requires a fast pace to use skills and swap elements. Any slight delay or mistime using certain skills 
will result in a DPS drop. Other than that, it's a pretty solid spec to play in open world to clear many events without a struggle once you master it. So Catalyst has high DPS and high sustain, but not easy to master. So Catalyst is S tier. Tempest is the easy version of Catalyst. It has less damage compared to Catalyst. But in return, Tempest is easy to play since it requires you to cast an overload skill that has long animation, which makes the rotation slower and easy to learn. So Tempest has decent DPS, high sustain, and it's easy to play. So Tempest is S tier. Weaver is the easiest and simplest LE spec. It has decent DPS and only needs to use fire and earth elements to deal damage. Weaver's major damage is by spamming fire skills including the auto attacks, since it's a small AOE bearing skill. The thing that makes Weaver better than Catalyst and Tempest, it has the ability to build up its conditions to burst mobs faster. Its sustain is much lower compared to its other specs, Catalyst and Tempest, since it requires to stop DPS to use water element skills to heal itself. So Weaver has decent DPS and average sustain, but it's very easy to play. So Weaver is B tier. Next is Engineer. The Holosmith build that I made is simple and easy to learn. It has decent damage output and gets a decent passive healing after leaving Photon Forge. Holosmith can easily build its burst to kill a group of mobs or tough mobs almost innocently. The only negative part about Holosmith, it's only able to remove conditions by using the healing skill or a light combo field. So Holosmith has decent DPS, decent sustain, but it's easy to play. So Holosmith is A tier. Mechanist is the strongest engineer spec. It has high DPS and good sustain, since it can use barriers to shield itself and the Jade Mech to face tank tough mobs. And on top of that, Mechanist is currently the only spec that has access to both quickness and alacrity uptime to deal damage and to refresh all defensive and offensive skills faster. So Mechanist has high DPS and semi-high sustain, and it's easy to play, so Mechanist is definitely legendary tier. Scrubber can generate its own boons and able to inflict 25 stacks of vulnerability, but as you can see in the video, the damage of Scrubber is pretty low, even though I'm using full Berserker gear and full offensive trait lines, because Scrubber lacks the skills and traits to increase its total damage. The good thing about Scrubber, it can burst a group of mobs faster, and it's able to maintain a decent amount of barriers to hold incoming damage from mobs, but it's not enough against some tough veterans or elites. So Scrubber has average DPS, semi-decent sustain, and a bit forgiving for mistakes. So Scrubber is C tier. Next is Guardian. Dragon Hunter can't generate its own boons, has no passive healing, and it's unforgiving for mistakes. So Dragon Hunter is currently underperforming tier. Vibrant is a good Guardian spec that can use its tomes to DPS, heal, or generate defensive boons. The negative part about Vibrant, it can't use all the tomes at once. It has to pick to either DPS or sustain because of the page ammunition system. And on top of that, even if Firebrand uses all its resources on DPS only, its DPS is really low. So Firebrand is C tier. Willbender is the best Guardian spec for open world. Unlike Firebrand, Willbender can use all the F skills at the same time to DPS and sustain with no consequences. And with Defender Relic, Willbender can heal itself by using F3 skill to block incoming attacks. Willbender is a fun spec to play, but requires a fast pace of using its skills to trigger all F skills effects constantly. So it's not quite comfy to play. So Willbender has high DPS and semi high sustain, but not that easy to play. So Willbender is A tier. And finally, Revenant. Herald is one of my favorite specs to play in open world. Since Herald is simple to play, has good DPS, and can easily maintain many boons uptime to itself and to other allies. And the Salvation Trait line, all Revenant specs have a high passive sustain as long as they keep generating boons. And if you want to play the Herald build that I made, make sure to check the guide screenshot in my Discord to learn how to use it. So Herald has good DPS, amazing sustain, and it's easy to play. So Herald is a legendary tier. Vindicator is the tankiest build I ever made. It has a bit lower damage compared to Herald, but in return, Vindicator can maintain all boons uptime by only spam dodges. 
Vindicator is extremely forgiving for mistakes and can ignore many mechanics and face tank bosses easily. So it's one of the best specs to play for new players or for those who want to play the game in easy mode. So Vindicator has decent damage, extremely tanky and is easy to play. So Vindicator without a doubt a legendary tier. Renegade has the same damage as Herald but better bursting and has more AOE skills to kill a group of mobs faster. Also an AOE utility skill that CCs all foes for 6 seconds. The negative thing about Renegade, its passive sustain is less compared to Hell and Vindicator. So Renegade has good DPS, semi high sustain and it's easy to play. So Renegade is S tier. 